Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and Apple has released iOS 14 beta 2. Two weeks after the release of beta 1 we have beta 2 which will bring a ton of new features and changes to iOS 14. So this update should come to your device at around 800 megabytes that of course will be different on different devices and it will depend whether you have beta 1 installed or not. If you have it installed then beta 2 should be around 800 megabytes. If you don't have beta 1 that you should see a larger update which will be around 4 gigs. So let's go ahead talk about beta 2. In this video I will show you guys more than 20 new features and changes that you will find on iOS 14 beta 2. Of course one of the biggest features of iOS 14 are the new home screen widgets and now on iOS 14 beta 2 we have a new one for the files app so you tap right there and you will see two different styles of widgets that you can add for the files app so you go ahead and add it to the home screen and then you will see this widget right here now what you will see here is like your four recent files which you cannot do anything from here you can not like three to touch on them or do anything all you have to do here is just tap to open them on the files app and that's about it you cannot like perform any other action there so you will have two different styles for the files app the widget on the home screen of course and here we have also some new changes finally the weather widget won't always show copertino here it will of course update as normally the reminders widget will show you here the reminder instead the smaller one of course will show you the reminder instead of just showing you there the number of reminders and if you take a look at the notes widget you will notice that the the icon there is new also you will see your three recent notes not two and then like you used to see three dots there which will basically take you to the notes app App, but now you will see your most recent three notes right there on the widget of the notes app. A very cool new change on the widget settings is that when you go now to set a widget on your home screen based on the color of that widget it will also change the color here of the button that says add widget. So here on the battery we have of course a green icon a green button as well. Let's try here another one. So if we go like to podcast, you can see purple there, purple here. And this looks really, really cool. Of course, a very small touch, but it shows like a huge difference here. It looks much, much better this way than just having like the same color on every page. We have some other changes on the home screen as well. If you take a look at the calendar app, the icon has been updated. Basically, it will not show you anymore the complete name of the day right there. So it used to show like Tuesday, for example, but now it will show just three letters instead of showing the complete name of the day. Also, the hands here on the clock app are now bolder. That's a change as well on the icon of the clock on iOS 14. So there are a lot of new changes on the home screen, starting from the app library. So if you go to app library and try to delete one of the apps, now you can see if you're 3D touch on it, you will have the button here that says delete app. So you can go ahead and delete them from library as well. And if you go to home screen, you can see that if you try to delete an app, if you tap on remove app, you can see that on the pop-up now, it used to say here, add to library and now it says remove from home screen so basically that means that you remove the app from the home screen but you can still find it on the library so basically you are not deleting the app you're just hiding the icon from the home screen of your iphone of course if you want to completely delete it you can tap the delete button right there and now you can also hide the watch app and the home app from the home screen of your iphone so on beta 1 you didn't have the ability to hide the watch app so if you tap remove here now you can go ahead and remove this from the home screen of course you cannot delete this app you can only remove it from the home screen and then of course you will be able to find it on the app library now if we go to app library you will notice that there's a new animation when you're opening apps on the app library now it used to be like a slide in animation and now it's just the normal animation that we get basically when opening apps on the home screen of the iPhone. It will be the same on the app library as well. There are more details on the weather app with iOS 14 beta 2. So now if you go to basically your location, you can see here at the bottom, it will say weather for your street. So you can get a more detailed information regarding the weather for the current location. 
on the health app, you will see now the hand washing data. So this is a new feature that Apple has introduced with watch OS seven. Basically it will detect using your watch will detect when you're washing your hands. And of course we'll just try to keep you washing your hands for 20 seconds or more. And then it just says nicely done and all that. And now you will find all the information regarding that of course all the data on the health app so you can see here average 21 seconds and you will see them there of course if you're using your apple watch and connected to your iphone on the music app now you will find haptic feedback for controls so whether you're playing music here just forwarding playing pausing all that you will now have an haptic feedback which is really really cool also we have some new changes on the settings of the music app so if we go to music right here you will see that there is a new section now that says motion now if you go to motion you will have here three different options now what this is is that it will basically allow you to just turn off the animation that you get on the cover art on the music app. So you will have the option to have it on, have it on only on Wi-Fi or completely turn it off. So with iOS 14, you will get that like cool animation on the background using the album or cover art. And now you can disable that from the settings app, which is of course really useful. If you don't want to have that, you can disable it from here. Also, if we go to the control center, you can notice that the home button is back. Now you can have your home button back on the control center that used to miss on iOS 14 beta one, but Apple has brought it back. When you're editing a video on the photos app on your iPhone, when you click done, now you will have a new pop up here to save the video as a new clip or just save the video. Now there used to be the old pop up that came like the complete screen here. Now you have the new style that Apple has added with iOS 14 and now it has been implemented on the photos app as well. Siri on iOS 14 has a new interface, but now with iOS 14 beta two, if you're choosing to hide the apps on the background of Siri, the blur will be much clearer now. And it used to be like a gray blur that basically just disappeared the app completely. And now it looks much better. Though of course new fixes that Apple has made on iOS 14 beta two, one of them can be found under the wallpaper section. You can notice the widget that I have here on the home screen. Now on beta one, you used to see like icons of the apps to which are the widgets and it will basically just used to be like disordered and all that and that now has been fixed and you will see your proper widgets right there on the home screen preview. There are other fixes on the widgets as well. If you go to the widgets panel on the left side, you will notice now that the size of the older style widgets, the iOS 13 ones now has been fixed and the width is the same as the new widgets. Also notice here on the series suggestions icons on the widget. Now we have their notification badges, which used to miss on iOS 14 beta one. And a smaller change here on the reminders app, you can see the today icon right there has been updated and now it shows you the current date, which is a really, really nice touch. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some of the new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 14 beta two. Of course, there will be probably a lot of more new features and changes on this beta, but that takes time, of course, to discover, take a look, take a deep look at this beta and discover a lot more new features and changes. Now, of course, I will do that and will update you with a new video once I find new features and changes on iOS 14 beta 2. Now, of course, if you want to be updated with the latest news, latest videos regarding iOS 14, make sure to subscribe. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.